All right, so while we pride ourselves on being hardy here in Maine, we're also known for being practical, and that means, in this case, taking steps to prepare for the truly dangerous conditions that we're facing yeah, here. Yeah, as much as you can prepare for negative 40 degrees, right. right? So we've got some tips to help you get ready this morning, some team coverage for you. We're going to start with Hanny Ashivi. Hanny, you spoke with a game warden about being safe if you do happen to go outside Friday, Saturday specifically. Hi, good morning, Lee and Sharon. I asked game wardens about how you can prepare if you're planning on going snowmobiling, ice fishing, hiking, skiing, or any other activity that you're going to spend a long period of time outside. Sergeant Kyle Hladek from the Game Warden Service says it's extremely important that you prepare ahead of these conditions. It's easy to just head out the door, but look at the weather and take some time to prepare. In extreme cold, cover all your exposed skin, including a face mask, dress in layers, stay dry, and always think about what may happen if things don't go according to plan. So what if my snowmobile breaks down? Bring a phone with you, and Sergeant Laddick says to also bring someone with you and tell someone where you're going and what, and what time you're planning on coming back. We responded to many people who are out alone on a snowmobile trail and their snowmobile breaks down and they could be 10 or 15 miles from help which might take you 15 minutes on a snowmobile but when you're walking um, that could be uh, the difference between life and death. Frostbite is a concern. Um, focus on your extremities. If your extremities start to feel uh, very cold or painfully cold, start to get tingling or numbness, uh, that would be a sign that um, frostbite uh, could be uh, could be setting in um, as well as skin that's turning very red or beginning to turn white. Another important thing he says is to think about your kids. If they go outside the house, make them wear another extra layer of clothes and also monitor the time that they play outside in the cold. And now let's send things to Sam who has some tips from the Bangor Fire Department. Hey Sam. Hey Hannah, as Mainers try and stay warm this weekend, there are some things to be careful with inside your home. A majority of the calls coming into the bank or fire department during super cold weather are about problems with extra heating devices or frozen pipes. Bangor's assistant fire chief is urging folks to keep those extra heaters three feet away from any other objects. And he says if you have a frozen pipe, do not try to thaw it with a torch an open flame. Andrew Emery says cold weather actually tends to reduce the number of calls the fire department receives, but those calls pick up again when problems arise as temperatures start to come back up. The days after that, it's frozen pipes thawing out that cause the water leaks. So if people can uh, make sure they're, if they can leave the water running a little bit, in the house and the commercial buildings if they make sure their keys and the Knox box are up to date because um, if it gets warm on Sunday and they have frozen pipes in the building the quicker we can get in and shut the water off the less water damage there is to the property. Emery says he's expecting to get a good number of calls for frozen pipes and water flow alarms on Sunday. He says when firefighters go out they'll be taking an extra truck so the crews can rotate and stay warm. Sharon. All right, taking extra precautions. They're setting a good example, actually. Thanks, Sam.